episode of Live Long's Campaign. We're back here in our Live Long's Campaign, where I'm taking on the world. I'm doing the things that my, that my French people wanted. I'm becoming the greatest power in the world and just wanting everyone. I'm wanting every single thing in the world, which is awesome. It's awesome. Okay, but <laughs> that was my kind of like, I don't know, tough guy accent or something. Hope you guys liked it. Hope the ladies liked it. Um, anyways, right now we're just kind of chilling out and um, just kind of looking at this new theater of things with our new gigantic army built um, out of the ashes of the old armies. We have definitely a good... Okay, the beliefs must be respected. Or whatever which one I just chose. I don't know if it's, it's beliefs must be respected or the other one. Anyways, um, right now we're sending... We're having... We have our next gigantic armies built, which means we have a, a fairly sized army now built up. But it's not quite... It's not quite... To the point I want it to be, and I'm gonna divide the armies now because that's apparently I'm taking nutrition, and nutrition's bad. Okay, there we go. Um, it's not quite big enough to where I could guard my entire state, which is not good. But you know, it's big enough to where I don't think the Germans will be able to ever break through it without serious, serious repercussions. And what I'm thinking of doing, since now, since the uh, um, army of of Wales troops have finally built themselves back up. I think I'm finally going to transfer them back to um, mainland Europe and let them be a part of stuff. And finally, a new crisis. Oh my goodness, finally. Okay, so what's the crisis involving? Why does everyone support the Ottomans? Okay, um, if the Chinese don't join in, then we might have a chance. Okay. So let's see, so the Germans are most likely going to join the Italians, I'm guessing. Um, what do they want? Thessaly, no. Uh, I'm s mm. As much as I love to support the Germans, yeah, they don't... Why are you taking Thessalina? You should be taking, like... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely going to support these guys. Plus they're my ally, plus Italy's my ally. I doubt Germans are going to turn against... Yeah, they're not going to turn against them. Because of stupid reasons, okay. So, yeah, we have... I'm going to take my Walesian troops and... Now I'm feeling... I'm feeling... Probably the next crisis. That's not ridiculous. I'll probably join in because... I'm feeling pretty confident about our army now. It's... It's actually become pretty... Pretty big. We actually have a good standing relationships with everything. Um, our army could be supported fully if, you know, a war came around. And, you know, we are probably we are probably the most threatening people ever. And, finally, a new party took over. The ultra-liberals intervened immediately. And that's really awesome. The ultra-liberals took power, which means... Does that mean my conservatists... Um, seems like the liberals gained a little bit more power. Gonna become... Eh. Okay, I'm gonna test this out. Because I've been pretty anti... Pretty anti, uh... Pretty anti-laissez-faire. I'm gonna see if my, if my theory was correct. If this... If laissez-faire is probably one of the worst governments you should choose. In this, as a friend. Because you know what... We're approaching like the end game, end game times, and oh, by the way, I this happened like a couple episodes I know, and you guys are probably screaming at me, but Belgium was conquered. Huh. Somehow the Netherlands somehow did it and finally got Belgium under the thing, and the Toms, the Tom, you're back. Oh yes, I've missed you, buddy. I've missed the Le Tom. Oh man, it's it's kind of nice to have the newspapers in this game was such a great idea because. It really does bring out, I don't know, just kind of a, it really does, like they said, like give you kind of more uniqueness and kind of give you more of a worldly view about things to happen in. I don't know, that I feel like that would increase. Hmm. I'm just, right now I'm just trying to max out my conference demands and apparently there's one more level I can build. 
of uh, ships. And does that mean there's one more level of ships? No, there isn't. Good. <laughs> I, was, I was getting kind of worried there, but we're going to right now spend some money to go upgrade all of our fortresses to level 6. Which might actually help us gain what we need and over here we still don't have these forts to level 5 kind of dangerous still over here we definitely don't have enough firepower I mean uh, I'm not necessarily scared of the Netherlands but now the Germans definitely do have an open spot to go Blitzenkrieg me which that, that that's never good it's never good when Germans have an opening on you anyways and let's see, is there any other fort, any other levels I want to extend? I'll extend these guys, because these guys have been pretty loyal to me. Pretty loyal, um, ship bearers. Yeah. Okay, we're back to being, now I'm back to going to this, and, like I said, there's this internal crisis right now brewing. And no one wants to support the, uh, British. Even though I could probably take on, we could probably take on the British pretty dang easy. I mean, we're right next to their land, and um, right now we're looking at their army, and they have no army. Wait, are the wait are the Polish at war with the British? Oh shoot, yes they are, and they're fighting for Garcia and all these other places. Oh shoot, um, so it. Looks like the Polish are going to win without my help, but I'm not sure. I want to make sure. Okay, yes, Italy, white piece. Um, let me make sure. I'm going to test this for a little bit. Um, it, yes, the Austrians are fully deployed. So this is their full amount of army, and right now they're doing pretty good. Like, Poland is really... I'm surprised they even mounted an invasion against the Great British. That's really gutsy right there, Poland, and you deserve really good props. You have definitely morphed into that nation I wanted you to be of greatness and stuff. Man, man I really do, I'm really just kind of talking kind of monotone today. It's just, I feel just kind of a sadness. And Oh my goodness, I'm supporting my government without doing anything else? That is awesome. Okay, well, we're not really supporting it completely. I think that's why. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, adapt. Okay, we combine these men and uh, our armies. A well fit on the line of battle. We actually just need one more. If I really did have to think about it, intervene immediately. Okay, so let's see. How do we balance this out? It's about 13 to 6. That's what we need in our army. So let's see. Build an army. Um, I'll make it this. Europe. Um, 11. Can I still do 2? Let's see. Because yeah, I've been building a lot of troops in Europe, and they might be a little bit saturated. One, two, and six. Three, and I'll just build the last two in Europe. There we go. There we go. We got our troops, our last army that we're going to include right here. That way we have a good, solid line against the Germans if they would ever do anything. Because as you can see, look at their back line. That's 81 troops in their back line. That's scary. That's seriously scary. We have nothing to counteract that if there was to any be a war. Um, our men are just starting to like gain, are just starting to like gain everything and 12 hour work days. Why not? You know what? I've given up. I've officially just given up. Let's just give them 8 hour work days and just see if these people will stop like doing anything. And oh my goodness, the French communists are finally, are finally starting to be pushed out of my government. And conservatives are still winning in terms of everything. That's really good sign. They still aren't winning in terms of people. That isn't voter ideologies. 30, 26. I mean, there's still a big party, though. That's a good thing, though. There's still a big party. Have some things like that I have to deal with. Um, and it seems like, for the majority of the time, the Polish seem to be winning their war against um, Austria. For the most part, I mean, there seems to be some, seems to be some happening, like, the Polish don't seem to be realizing that they should go send more men to go help defend this area over here. I'm not, I'm pretty sure those guys are going to slaughter a lot of troops before they finish. Oh wait, there we go. There we go. Now we're seeing some more 
army moving in and yeah it seems like yeah once this army finally gets into gear okay hopefully they'll realize that they should go back they they all winning them a vast majority of the battle so i'm hoping i'm hoping that polish are gonna lose like heck can i join in on the status quo like seriously i would seriously love to join in on the status quo and go help them out because i'm honestly doing that and red guards red guards in, in russia mm, like what i expected okay if they allow me to do status quo i'm gonna definitely do it because i do not want the germans grievous insults from yemen you know what our opinions are limited and force of arms must be considered um you know what i really don't care it may anger a lot of people but i really just don't care yemen yemen is a small country that's never gonna go big it's never gonna be a powerful contender for the throne and so you know i don't really it doesn't really matter no matter what they do i'm always just going to be a superiorly better nation than them and this is going to take a long time so let me just see what no no it's not it i don't remember where you get the messages and this is a melchus filter that's kind of cool oh man okay economics budget oh man i mean they seem like they're winning i mean they don't they have a much bigger army than Austria, and that's all they really need to concentrate on. What are they mainly losing on? the bat Really, they're losing on the battles? Okay, well, they're definitely not going to submit to any of the demands of the Polish, so... What they need to do is just circle back and defeat this army right here. That's the only army standing between them and total victory. Seriously, I mean, if they do that, then they basically have defeated the armies of the Polish. That's all they need to do, but they're not doing it. Uh, okay, so we're going to completely tack, completely get out of the conference se section of our economics, which is going to be good. And our economy is completely building up again. Or is strong to the point where, let's see, is anyone catching up to us yet? Um, actually, the United States is, is coming pretty close, so that's becoming a little bit scary. The capitalists in my country aren't exactly willing or really wanting to build up my country in any sense of the way i don't know why but they are letting a lot of factories drop let me see what are they okay expanding okay so they're basically expanding actually they're doing a good job never mind that's something that they're expanding the factories which is something i find very tedious and hopefully hopefully this army is realizing that no no poland no uh is there any way I can take control of your command? Okay, I'm just gonna give you war subsidize. Proceed. They will receive this from the month. That's fine, me. Just give them war subsidize. I'll help fund their army so that they can start keep their peace. The police has to be respected. Show wars. Yeah, I'm gonna keep helping them out because they are obviously not smart and smart as a militaristic commanders, which we've realized over the years. Poland's not necessarily smart when it comes to military tactics. Neither is Romania, apparently. I mean, they don't even try to make their own troops, which is frankly stupid. Colonial ins- What? We have- Oh! 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 Okay, I know this would be just an excuse to go beat up Austria so that they would stop messing with my little nation of Austria. But that really does sound like a good idea. Hmm. You no, know I'll leave this for next episode, guys. No, wait, wait, this is... No, wait. No, never mind. I'm not going to leave this for next episode. I'll decide right now. Do I want to go to war with Austria? Or what do they even have that's still colonially theirs? This. This is probably the only thing, it's probably the only thing that I need to, like, regain control of my rebel problem. Everything else I have control over. Here, I hate these guys because they don't actually do anything. They also give me 50% relationships with Austria and France, but I just want to split them up as much as possible. Um... 
Sure, why not? Acquire Zanzibar. That's the only territory I can actually acquire. So, let's just do that immediately. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't expect to be much casualties. Um, U.S. very... Japan very unlikely. Japan very likely. Italy very unlikely. Wow, I have really not that many allies. Well, I'll just go to war by myself. If the U.K. wants to join in, they're going to get slaughtered. I'm just going to be bluntly honest with you. They're going to get slaughtered if they join in. Okay, I'm gonna, and this is my chance to go test out my new army. I'm going to have to be very wary of the Germans. The Germans still... We still don't quite... We're, we're having less relationship problems, so... It's going to be important to know that this is not good. Okay, let's see. Did the UK join in? The UK joined in. Okay. I should have got relationships with Scotland. I just realized that. Okay. So let's do that. Oh, come on. I don't need an army over here. I just realized that too. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go send this army over here. Um, I probably could have made this a great war. I just realized that. Probably wouldn't have been that bad either if I made this a great war. And you know what? I'm getting tired of not having any ships over here. So um, what I'm going to do is all across here I'm going to start building. Can I build these? Okay, you know, I'll do it in my main region. Like here in the song. Just build lots of steamers. Like I wanted to overproduce steamers. Okay, how many is that? 20 steamers. That should be enough for any size army. Okay, you guys just go across like idiots one by one. Okay, and um, we're combining some of our men later. Um, we have our two gigantic armies moving in. Hopefully I'll be able to help the Polish reach their goals. Um, I could go, you know, let's just go, just, let's just go straight for Vienna. Let's just, let's just stop kidding ourselves here. This is, this is going to be, a, this is just going to be a quick war. I mean, I'm not even really going to be fighting it. The UK has nothing. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves here. The UK has nothing. Go straight to Dover. We took that. They took that. This is... Okay, let me just move my soldiers in position. Okay. And I'm taking the infamy hit, which means I probably was the one that hit it first, I'm guessing. But luckily, I have gas attacks, which are helping me a lot. This is taking a long time to transfer men from that side to that side. Just want to point that out right now. Yeah, I'm going to die a lot of men. A lot of men are going to die in this, aren't they? Yeah, good job, men. You guys can't move any quicker. Oh, thanks. You finally got you finally got over here. There we go. We got a good defense. You know, I'm just gonna move my just move them in here. This is much quicker. I don't know why I ever tried to just put them on the boat. Okay. Go right here. Go right here. So let's go do this. I mean, yeah, I could probably could have made this a great war again. Just like took more land from the British. But <clears throat> not that mean. <laughs> I guess, I guess this is a, this is a very, very short answer. I'm not that mean. As much as I want to be perceived as a mean guy, I'm not that mean. And, really? Okay, I'll go, I'll start going to go destroy those little tiny states in a second. Let me just, with my other army, take over this. Let me see, how am I doing? Yeah, I should be winning with the flying colors, um... I'm going to go send my men to go take out this Austrian Hulk of a force. That way, they'll stop plaguing my little, my little, um, my little army. Okay, so let's go right there. Go. Go. And, of course, we... Oh, my goodness, we lost that battle. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Shoot. Well, that just probably gave them a big, gigantic bonus. And it probably made us so that we have to retreat. Yeah, it's about 22 men, and we just lost a lot of them. Okay. Yeah, let's start retreating from here. Yeah, that was a really bad decision on my part. Um, I'm just going to have to wait for those men to be made. Is there any other transports we have? Um, I should have some transports, actually, from over here. All right, you guys combine. I should have some transports. Some Yeah, there they are. Okay, you guys quickly come up here because we're going to use some of our other armies. Um, you guys go right here and then go right there. 
defeat the rest of them, man. And we're trying to destroy the Austrian forces. Maybe, maybe we can do it. I'm not sure. This is, at this point in the game, it's like whatever side is defending wins. And right now, we chose the very wrong side. And Patrice, Patrice, do not let me down. Um, what I'll do to make sure that we don't lose that battle is... Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling scared because if I keep sending more and more men to go against the front, it's going to cost me. But I have to make a lot of ground from where I just lost. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make up a lot of ground because I just lost a lot of men. And they're going to be coming after me here soon. I'm going to move all my troops right there. Okay. Yeah, this is... I'm going to move all them over here. Oh, my goodness. So, apparently, this is going to be a pretty good war. The British are actually going to gain some honor in this. Because they actually did... They actually did more than I thought they would do. Still kind of annoyed at that, but... They did more than I thought they would do. And... Over here, this battle, I hopefully was turning into my favor. I'm sending another 57 army to go deal with. Potentially another... There we go. Okay. Baden. Just gonna offer peace. That's fine with me. Um, that means we're out of there. Let's see. Any other... Who's at war with me exactly? So I know. The little nation has a shield. Will you guys accept peace? They will not. Okay. Send my army to go in. Okay, you guys is going right there. I'm so glad I still got military access with, with Germany. It really does help. Okay, and then yeah, that should complete those guys. Um, right now we're destroying the Austrian forces so that it'll help my little German state. I mean, not my little German state, my. Pruskin, my, my Pruskin, my Polish state, so that they'll be, so that they'll have help in the future. Keep sending more men to across the sea. Okay, and it really doesn't seem like, if this is, I, I haven't seen that many British soldiers, so I'm guessing this is the full extent of their army. Like, like, if, after that 23 million, that's pretty much the full extent of their army, and I'm guessing... They're probably going to add a war goal. Um, I don't... Not sure entirely, though, because... Um, this war was fought for, basically, a piece of junk land. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's a piece of junk land. And... These guys are trying to hold me off. Let's just go right there. Let's go right there. And destroy them. Mount Schwick. Okay. You guys right here in Saxon Nord, you guys want a peace? They will accept that offer. Okay. You want this peace? No, you guys don't want this peace. Brunswick, do you want this peace? No, you guys still want to fight. That's typical. Okay. And I've completely destroyed these guys, so I'm going to move my three armies back. I'm just going to use my three armies to go, um... Uh, what do I want to use these three armies for? Um, I'm just going to use these three armies, go put them back into my land, and start healing them up. Because that was a pretty major battle we destroyed. We helped destroy the uh, Austrian presence, which really this war is really just for me to... It's really, if, a, if it really comes down to it, it, this is just a war for me to just beat up the Austrians so that Pol the Polish people can gain more land. If I must be honest with you, that's really what this war is about. There's really no, like, n there's no noble thing in this. This is really just me just trying to beat him up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, we got this. Um, yeah, we just, we're just, yeah, we're just doing what we can. And the priests, they want peace, yep. It's good. Gets me more and more of my men outside, so I'm going to use this men to go, like, take over all these other places, like, Prague, Berlin, and yeah, we're starting to gain a war score back. I probably got, probably should go send some more mommies to go over there, but feeling too lazy. And over here, I don't remember which army this was supposed to be, but it's supposed to be for this army over here down there. Do I have any weekend 13? I think that's the average though. 13, stop doing that. 12, yeah, it's about the average, so I'm going to move these guys over here. 
13, yeah. Gonna move these guys over here so that they heal properly. Okay. Heal properly. Just wanna make sure our armies are healed. Um, Spain, hopefully we'll get in our sphere at some point in life. But, you never know with the Spanish. They're quite unpredictable. Okay. Okay, we're conquering more land just because we have to conquer more land for war goals. I mean, this this war is really just just okay. Brunswick, how's Brunswick doing? It's doing pretty good. It's doing its I'm not going to be conquered phase, which is typical of every little state. But you know, you're gonna get conquered. <laughs> I guess I guess is my simple short answer. Um. We're probably just gonna, to gain back all of our infamy, we're probably gonna have to reconquer all of that land. Which I won't mind, I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit, because I'm waiting for this to build up. Which is probably gonna take about 200 days. So I'll be at war for a good amount of time. But I'm uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go, like, rush this process. And I have men moving in, so it's not like... Uh, it's not like anything's a problem, and Poland's definitely... With that, with that, Poland, I think, is definitely going to, uh, win this war. The war for their Garcia. Because now with me, just, like, helping them out, they should be able to have enough men to take them over. Now, I wish... Hmm. I almost... You know what? You know what, for once, I'm going to do something I usually never do in any of my Let's Plays. Which is... Austria, you know what? Would you like white peace? No, they would not. Well, I was going to do something new that I've never done in my Let's Plays, or this Let's Play, which is I was going to try to get peace with them. I was actually going to try to uh, just say, you know what? We conquered enough. And Brunswick is now ours, so I'm going to add Brunswick out of here. That actually decreased my standings, okay? So don't do that, ever. Okay, now we can start planning our invasion of the British Isles again, which, um, use French. Um, ambassador insulted, gain a humiliate trait, um, hmm, oh, that'd be so perfect right now. And, well, we're right now at war with, it doesn't really matter, we're right now at war with the Great British. So... You know, if I start gaining, if I start gaining more stuff, I'm gonna definitely use that cause belly against them. Cause that's this is about perfect timing, okay? And we need the 16. Oh wait, no, it's the 26. Okay, it's the 26 army. We're gonna start transporting troops to go over there to Great Britain. And um, actually, could Great Britain just get out of the war? I mean, honestly, you guys don't really need to be in it. No, you guys you guys are keen on staying in war. Why did I not guess that? Well, I'm keen on just destroying Austria. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So now we got our ships in position. Time to move our troops. At least damaged troops. So let's see, how many did we lose? So we have to keep 13, 1, 6. That's our... 13, 1, 5. So I lost one tank. And I'm gonna move. Oh, we have way too many troops here. Yeah, let's just. I think the 19 has nothing to do. Yeah, let's just go over here and go to Dover. Okay, I'm gonna combine all these guys. Okay, that should be enough for these guys to like travel across. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna start traveling a little bit of our army at a time to go across this strait. And I'm gonna go send. Actually, these guys go in the new position right over there. This is going to be where my new army is going to be made. And, yeah, it seems like Poland's definitely taking out what they need. I'm taking out what I need. Wait, I could have taken out what I need. This will probably help the war effort by a ton. Yeah, just go over here. I didn't think of this. Okay. Lazy and is a not adapt. Factory output, okay, militarist funds, tax efficiency, by the margins of relations respected. Okay, we're finishing out the uh, curveball. 
And these guys should be defeated in a second. And that should be easy to conquer too. The police must be respected. Okay. And we're going to take over this in a good timing manner. Work harder. And the British... Oh, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Did we lose that army? Or did it just retreat? They completely blockaded that army. Yep. I'm probably not going to win this. Because of the battles. And because I'm not really paying attention to this battle, this war effort at all. I'm just kind of like, eh, it's there. You guys, you guys seriously, just go back home. Okay, um... Yeah, we're going to have to take over some of Great Britain, so I'm just going to move some of my... So I want the rest of this to be aimed at for Poland, so now I'm going to pay attention to the... To my conquest over here, because obviously I'm having difficulties. Okay, I'm going to move these guys over here. Mm -hmm. I conquered just enough so that Poland can go in and go do their own thing. And, yeah, Poland's a landing invasion plan. I landed my own troops. And Poland wants me to help in something. Um, Russian liberation of beliefs. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Poland. Really? Oh, and the Italian joint. No. That's where my kindness just goes. Yeah, no. I'm fine with beating up these guys, but the Italians are kind of my friends, and... No. No. Just no. Okay. We have a good standing line right here. Uh, Spain can be in our sphere again. Let's influence that. Well, that just, that kind of stinks, but you know what? If they gain that, that's fine. That's not too big of a deal. My only worry is that they won't be able to, like, finish their war for West Garcia, though. I'm ho hoping Poland will be smart and just, like, peace out of that pretty quickly. Okay. And with my war over here, taking over the British... Taking over the British capital should be able to thrust me into what I need. It should, though. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just see. And... The second sacking of London. It's great to see it sacked again. Okay. And negative one. So that means we just need a little bit more. So just probably just one more region or two. So let's just... What are you doing? Uh, no. Keep that region of London, that way we have this, just in case if they try to attack us. And we want to make sure we control the regions we already did. And... Germany. Yeah, Germany's trying to... Germany's trying to do something. Okay, let's do that. Just keep moving in. Okay, I didn't know they can move up from Cumberland. And it seems that it's another war for Thessalonia. I don't think anyone's going to support it because all the major powers are kind of busy right now. And all the ones that would are kind of like doing stuff. Um, uh, they're going to annoy me with this for a while. So I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move my, my camp. So I'm going to need more armies over here. This is a pretty good army right now. You guys are going to go across the canal. Going to go help these guys maintain a good control. The crisis, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. And you guys are going to go down here. We're going to make sure we get the advantage on this. We don't want the gym. We don't want the, uh... Yeah, we have... We should have the advantage on this. We should have the advantage on this. Yeah. I don't know what the German... I don't know what the, uh... People were thinking, but I knew we were going to win that one. That one was just kind of like a, a deathbed. Okay, let's get back to our conquest. Okay. And... Are you guys about ready to concede? They would not accept this offer. Well, time to conquer a little bit more. And I think I just drove their main army away, so... I don't think they're going to be... Oh, wait, they're brave enough. Wow. Let me just destroy this little tiny army first. Then go after the big size army. Let me just go after the big size army. 
and that way we now we now find a big size army on even fields and now we're just fighting to keep the boxer outlets well now we get a uh never mind okay Austria proceed oh well that was uh almost completely pointless war but well not completely pointless I mean we did gain that little tiny territory right there so that French Africa now looks like French Africa but um Austria's probably not gonna gain it's no way it did get a piece with uh it did get a piece with uh Italy and all of them so they did lose this little territory right there but it's probably still gonna win this war over here because I did crush them so anyways everyone that was thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time